Welcome back, friends, and gather around for episode 70 of Simply Walking Into Mordor. As always, my name is Nowglear, and a very special welcome to you if this is your first time watching with us. Well, guys, welcome back, hopefully for the second time today. Uh, and this is our next episode of Simply Walking Into Mordor. We just defeated Mordorith, but at what cost? And who was Sarah Okart doing? What was Sarah Okart doing there? That crazy old lady who just stole the Palantir and seems like she's happy that we defeated him but then stunned us herself, so she's not a friend. What is going on? I don't know. Let's speak to Goladir and continue our quest. Got to bring up the UI to see what he said. All right. Book 8, Chapter 6, A Watchful Eye. This victory is an important one, though not as complete as I had first hoped. Exactly. However, even this victory will give us a brief, a brief reprieve from the onslaught of the enemy. I would ask that news of our success be brought to my chieftain, Aragorn, son of Arathorn. You have met him, then. He is a Rivendell. Go, then. Speak to... Just go then, blah, 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 go then to speak with my Lord Aragorn in one of the guest rooms along the road that winds up to the southern slope of the Vale of Imladris and tell him of our deeds here. All right, and what, what rewards will we get for such a service to you? Nothing fantastic. <laughs> uh, this ring is not bad if we were a uh, will user, but we're not. And so <laughs> doesn't look like we'll be getting anything. Is this dagger? Does that dagger look any good? Not bad if you want to use daggers. That club. <laughs> that is a hefty club. All right. Let's accept the quest. Uh, let's make sure we actually equip our uh, vial of swirling waters from last episode. That'll give us a great benefit to our uh, defense. All right. Just using some reputation items there. Uh, let's head to Rivendell. All right. Off we go to Rivendell. Oh, we've been linking stuff to chat. That is not helpful. Okay. Now, guys, if you remember last episode, we were beginning to talk about my preferred questing route. And so we will continue to talk about this ep this episode, especially if we have any rides uh, to do. And yeah, so last episode, let's just head to Aragorn here. He's in the guest rooms, if you remember. Uh, in the last episode, I spoke about from levels 1 to 19. Uh, so 19, you're heading to the Lone Lands, uh, and there's quests there for you to do. Quest through the Forsaken Inn and uh, continue on to Oscaruth, skip uh, that tower that has the dwarf, the Dow hands in it. It's very slow. Uh, you want to head to Ostgaruth, and then at level 28 or 29, uh, probably 29 actually, head to Evendim. Uh, and Evendim uh, will be the next best place for you to quest. I think it's better than the Troll Shores, uh, for the same reason that the Lowlands is better than the North Downs. So head to Evendim at level 29. So 10 levels spent in the Lowlands, and you should be Finished with Ost with uh, the Lone Lands when you're at about the end of Ostgaruth, uh, or even into Harag, into the uh, marsh, down to the south just a little bit, uh, Harloweg. So either you've either you're doing quests around Ostgaruth, Haragma, that sort of thing, especially in Nandelhu, uh, and then maybe if you have to head down to Harloweg to get to level 29, head down there. Uh, but then yeah, 29, head to Evendim and to Oatbarton. It's down here. So yes, if you were wondering, Freeland, level 19, you finish around Adso's camp, then head straight down to the Lone Lands, to the Forsaken Inn, and do quests around here, then Ostgaruth, and then if you need to, Harloweg, before heading to Oatbarden in Evendim. All right, let's speak to Aragorn. You have earned so, Golodir did not perish, and the Shadow of Angmar is, for the moment at least, weakened. I am of a mind that even if Mordorith does finally fall, he may someday return or another shadow of the enemy will take his place. Still, your efforts were valiant and deserving of praise, now clear. Your name will not be forgotten by the Dunedain of the North. Well, that is very good. Let's get our reward, which will be this one-handed club. It is worth the most. Great, okay, we finished book eight, there you go. And we've got ourselves a title, we've finished ourselves a deed, uh, which was the first of the epic deeds, the Shadows of Angmar. We finished book one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There you go, and we've got ourselves, or we won't have ourselves a new deed just yet, uh, but we've got ourselves a deed, uh, a title, sorry, called Li A Light from the Shadow. Now, I reckon that's a better title than Raging Frenzy. It is, Raging Frenzy is a good title, we might re-equip that at some point, but A Light from the Shadow, very nice, uh, and it's good, very fitting uh, for our next set of epic quests, which is continuing in Volume 1. All right, forward for Book 9, News of the Palantir. Gandalf the Grey, currently in Bilbo's room on the first floor of the last homely house here in Rivendell, should be informed of the actions of this Sarah Okart. 
You say you have encountered her several times before. Most curious. The theft of the Palantir is no small matter now, Glyph. Few have knowledge of them. Fewer still can use them with purpose and accuracy. If this Okart is one of those few, her designs on such a powerful item bode very ill. Go now and speak with Gandalf. All right, so, yes, Sarah Okart took a Palantir from Throne Room of Khandum, and that does not bode well at all. We definitely need to tell Gandalf of this foul uh, doing. And so, let's head to the last home in the house and speak to him. But on our way, let us continue our chat on leveling. So, as I said, head to Evendim at 29, uh, and there you're going to go to Oatbarden. That's the first area. Now, I will say that Oatbarden has a boring quest bubble. You are running around a farm doing chores for hobbits, and it's not the not the most fun place in the world, but it gives you a good item at the end of it, and also it is about a free, it's about a free level and a bit uh, of experience in about half an hour. So it, it is a good uh, time spent uh, as long as you can just power through that farm uh, and do those quests, and then you're heading into more exciting quests. We didn't do the farm on our playthrough, uh, but we did do lots of uh, lots of more quests in Evendim. Uh, but I, I did forget to mention, actually, you're not going to be doing any epics. So I would do no epics of Volume 1, pretty much, uh, except for your introduction epics, if that. Uh, so I wouldn't even bother with epic quests in Volume 1. They just take you all over the place. They're not really that helpful, and they don't unlock anything, which is the other thing. Now, that's with one exception, and I'll get to that in a second. Right, so, uh, up here we're going to... Oh, we've gone the wrong way. We have to speak to Gandalf, not Elrond. Uh, <laughs> so yes, uh, head to Evendim and go to Oatbarden. Do the quest there, power through them, and then head to uh, the rest of the quests through Evendim. All right, let's speak to Gandalf. He should be in here. Here he is. Book 9 forward. Aragorn has sent you. What's this you say? The Palantir stolen? All right. Chapter 1, Oakheart unhidden. Ah, now, Glir, I need to speak with you. I have heard of your adventures at Khandum, and I am concerned. Besides your strange encounters with her during your travels, I have never heard of this Sarah Okart, and I am troubled by her. There are few now in this age who have even heard of the Palantiri, much less be concerned enough with them to steal them. More so, they have now become dangerous, for Sauron possesses the Ithil Stone, which he has certainly bent to his will. Return to Goladir at Gathforthnir, and return him, and help him search for Sarah Okart and the Palantir. I fear that only evil will come of these events. All right, so we're returning to uh, Goladir. Gandalf has told us that the Palantir are very dangerous, which is true because Sauron does have the Ithil Stone. Bit of a spoiler there for our Shadow of War series. Uh, but yes, yeah, spoiler alert, Sauron gets the Palantir in the end. All right, let's head back to Gathforthnir and speak to Goladir. This seems very important. Just continue using our deed skills. <laughs> Very important. All right, in we go. Goladir. Gandalf sent you to help me search for Sarah Okart and the missing Palantir. Well, the search will be short. One of my scouts has found her already, outside Barad Gularan, the place where the Witch King studied his terrible arts. She has made no effort to conceal her whereabouts, but I can think of no reason this would be so. You will find Barad Gularan in the center of Nangur, an evil valley haunted by whites and other dread creatures. Barad Gulran is located in the center of a series of bridges that surround it like the spokes of a wagon wheel. Sarah Okart was seen by the tower located at the most southeasterly of these bridges. Go and bring back the Palantir. All right, so we have been to Barad Gulran before. We've been to some of the outlying towers of it uh, when we were collecting Goladir's uh, gear a couple of episodes ago. And so it looks like we're heading back there uh, to what it says, unhide <laughs> Sarah's uh, doings. Okay, well, let's... Uh, head out into Himbar, and we'll, we'll, we will see, I think, yeah, it actually might be a good idea just to ride down uh, from Gathborthnir instead of taking a horse to Merkworth. And so let's take a ride, and while we're riding, we can uh, speak about our quest path uh, that we've been talking about. So yes, uh, initially... Head to Oatbarden, then head up through uh, the normal direction. Now, what I'd normally do is head to Tinadir first and ride south to uh, Oatbarden so you can get all the swift travels on the way. 
Uh, that's the only reason. It doesn't really matter if you if you have to ride to the next zone. It doesn't take very long. But the swift travels in Evendim are very convenient. So having them unlocked right from the beginning is a good plan. All right. Oh, I thought we were going to get knocked off our horse there. That's good that we didn't. All right. So yes, uh, you want to be continuing questing in Evendim until uh, you are about level, I would say, 40. Uh, if you can manage 41, the, that's best. Uh, so you pretty much want to do every quest in Emondim. It's a great zone. Uh, you want to go all the way until the end of Anuminas, uh, which is actually really, uh, really beneficial for your experience. And we didn't do all of it in our playthrough, uh, but that's because we were doing epics, and we're not going to be doing epics in this uh, quest run, as I've already said. All right, looks like we found the road here for Nangirth, which is good. But this is actually the point where you do break that tradition of not doing epics, and uh, you're going to want to do book six so you can unlock uh, the, you know, the watching stones. You want to be able to get to Gathforth, even if you don't make the ride when you're questing. Just unlocking it is kind of helpful. It's not too hard. Uh, do the quests around Orkair as well. So I'd, I'd start uh, up in the Ramdueth, do those quests in the Earth Camp that we passed off uh, and did and chose not to do. Uh, but I'd do them. Get up to level 45 uh, whilst you're in Angmar doing quests at all care. Uh, and then, oh, these guys are white hand. White hand orcs in Angmar. Very interesting. Okay, well, we are, we need to get around to the south. So I wonder what the best way to do that is. I think we will jump over the fence here, head down, and go around that way. Uh, because I don't really want to deal with all those orcs. We'll continue to ride around to the south. Oh, hopefully this spider doesn't catch us. Okay, so yes, you're going to head to Angmar at around level 40, start doing quests in Orgher, and do book 6, uh, at least the start of book 6, so you can get past the Watching Stones. Uh, that's the important thing. And then once you hit level 45, which shouldn't take you too long uh, of questing in, in Angmar, should, you should do most of the uh, Orgher quests, and if you have to continue on into this camp in Malinhad, so be it. Uh, but that's the best and fastest way to 45. This will be the slowest period of your questing. And if you want to augment it with some skirmishes or something like that just to speed things up a bit, uh, I wouldn't blame you. It, it is a bit of a tedious run uh, from level 40 to 45. That's going to be the slowest part of your questing. Now at 45, there's a couple of things you need to do. You need to do your class quest, which we did uh, at 45. And then you also would go and do your legendary items at that point. So head straight to a Regian. Uh, or rather Rivendell and get the, the forward quest. Uh, head straight down to Ekad Dunan, and I'll show you where that is on the map in one second. Uh, so you're going to head down to Oregon at level 45 after you've done your class quest. Head right down here to Ekad Dunan, and there'll be a dwarf called Nikir. We will uh, see him in a few episodes when we begin volume two. And you're going to do the forward there. Now you will be doing that forward uh, five levels too low, which will be a bit difficult, but it shouldn't be too hard. The, the quests are not very difficult. Uh, just do the, the mandatory ones. Don't do any of the expeditions because uh, you don't need to. Uh, and then once you've finished those, uh, you will have access to legendary items. And once you've unlocked your legendary items, you would uh, then go and begin your quests in Eregion. Now, there's a bit of a theme going on here. You're still level 45 at this point. There's a bit of a theme. Usually when you're questing in this path, you want to aim to be three levels under the zone where you begin. Uh, where, where you're starting the zone. You want to be three levels too low for that zone. Uh, that's because that is kind of the maximum... Well, I think we're going to have to ride all the way around there. We might be too low down here in the basin. You want to be uh, three levels below the quest because that's the maximum experience you'll get uh, for doing those quests. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, we're, we are severely lost. <laughs> and we've been knocked off our horse. That is not good. Okay, I think that looks like a way up over there. So let's head towards that. Okay, yes, yeah, so three levels below, that's the maximum experience you're going to get uh, with still being uh, able to complete the quests fairly easily. Uh, if you're smart about things and you're not an idiot like we were a lot, <laughs> just taking on heaps of enemies at once, then you should be absolutely fine uh, doing quests three levels below. Uh, and so when you head to Oregion, which is begins at level 48, uh, up in Gwingaris, then you're going to be level 45. And you do those quests until you hit level 49 or... If you want, I would finish the quest deed in Eregion. It's a lot of experience. Like, Eregion quests are great, uh, and they unlock the swift travels there. 
and it's a it's a nice place to quest. You do get a lot of experience, and it's not it's not too hard to get the uh, to get the final quest done. I think it's about sixty quests you have to do, and that doesn't take you very long in Oregon at all. And by that time, you will end up at about forty nine or fifty uh, if you complete the quest. Otherwise, if you don't want to complete the quest deed, I would finish up there at uh, forty eight, and then complete volume two and head into Moria. And Moria uh, is great for experience. You're going to get heaps of experience there. But after Moria in Lothlorien is even better. But actually here in Moria is where you're going to start doing epics. And I would do all of the epics in Moria until you've unlocked the three skirmishes. And you'll know that because you'll be forced to do all three skirmishes uh, for the epic. All right. Looks like this Skara pack board is going to block our way to Sarah Okart. So we're going to fight him. He's only a signature, but he is four levels above us. So we're going to have to fight smart, fight hard. He's not taking much damage at all, uh, but he, well, he'll go down. We, we won't have too much trouble fighting this guy. So yes, that's gotten us to Moria for our quest path. Hopefully that's been uh, informative. That's the fastest way to Moria that I uh, can see, or that I usually do. And from Moria, it's fairly uniform, your path. There's a couple more deviations, and I'll go through them in a second. All right, Sarah Okart, let's speak. I am glad you have come now, Glia. The time has come for us to discuss several things. You have been most helpful in many ways to me and my friends. We will have much to talk about very soon. Well, that it does not sound good. You've stolen a Palantir, so I don't like you, and you're saying that we've helped you in the past. That doesn't sound good to me. I need your help one more time, young one. You need us to help you. Okay. Thank you for coming now, Glia. You have been such a great help to me during my travels. Did you just call us a young one, by the way? We're like a thousand years old. We're like three thousand years old. We took a 3,000 year old nap, lady. All right. <laughs> I know you have many questions. We will talk. But first, I have one last favor to ask of you. I need your help getting to the heart of this place. I'm afraid I will not be able to make it on my own. Please help me this one last time, and I promise you that I will answer everything you have to ask. This is an evil place, full of unspeakable horrors, but I will guide you true. I only ask for your protection. Okay, I guess we're going to help her. This doesn't seem great. With me. We're ready. I don't really want to help you, though. A mysterious note from the strange Sarah Oakheart bade the heroes who saved her to meet her at the gates of Barad Gularam, the ancient retreat of the Witch King of Angmar. Seeking an answer to the mystery of the old woman, Gulodir assents. All right, so it looks like we want to get answers Come. more than not yes, help this lady. Thank you for helping me this one last time. I do not think I could make it on my own, being the frail old woman I am. You have done much for me, more perhaps than you will ever know. I cannot begin to thank you for your services. Come, let us see what can be found here. I do not think anyone will trouble us. Beware the shadows. Yeah, why are we here, Sarah? <laughs> this place seems disturbingly empty. Well, we did just kill Mordoreth. Well, not really kill, but arm him. Oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> Oh, these are guys that go invisible. New deed, lore of the enemy and the dead that live. What are those deeds? Shadows of Angmar. This is instances deeds. Ah, this is defeating enemies in Barad Gularan and collecting tomes from Barad Gularan. Barad Gularan is an instance that you can do uh, in... Well, just as an instance. <laughs> and so running it probably has some deeds associated with it. And that is fair enough. Now, we don't have... Uh, <laughs> We don't have, what's it called, inspiration, uh, which I kind of was assuming that we would have, but we don't, because this is a solo quest, and so we should be a bit careful about our uh, damage. Now, having all this dread around reminds me, I'm going to make us some hope tomes, or some hope tokens, uh, which will give us, will let us use, and we will gain <laughs> much use out of them because of fact that we're getting so much dread, it'll get rid of all of this dread. We'll be able to get five hope from those tokens, and that'll kind of allay the dread, and also give us a bit of a bonus at the same time. There are lots of spirits here, Sarah. What are you, what are you kind of playing at? You hoping to get us killed? Foolish spirits, they know not what they were doing. Hmm. I don't think we know what we're doing helping her out. She's walking barefoot on this lava metal. <laughs> No wonder her feet look look really burnt on the bottom. <laughs> what is wrong with you, lady? Also, are you a hobbit? 
You look very short. You look like you could be a hobbit. Wood is very old. There are many sounds up ahead. It seems as if many people are beyond this door. Well, maybe we shouldn't go in. What's the idea here? Why, why do you want to come here? <laughs> all these are questions that have not been answered. How do you open all the doors? What the? <laughs> That's a lot of enemies. There's like Kargul and Angmarim all over the place. And just spirit warriors. Castellan. Who's Castellan? Castellan Wisdan. And she's talking to him. He's calling her my lady. This is not going well. He's a cargle. The last two pieces we need. What are they talking about? These Gulleron warriors are standing at attention. Oh, and they're all bowing to her. This is, like, surely this is not good. With these relics, we now have all that we need to summon forth the Rogmul. Rogmul, that's... <laughs> that's like an evil void spirit. <laughs> I was not... I did not... I... <laughs> Why are we helping you? <laughs> Oh, and now you're just going to deal with us, are you? Well, dear me, I hope... Okay. Now, as thanks, Nugly, I should reveal who I truly am. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, oh, this is... Okay, what's going on? Amarthiel. Aha, Sarah Okard is not who she seemed. You now seem as I truly am. I'm the Scourge of the North, Champion of Angmar, Amarthiel. With no small thanks to you, Mordoreth has fallen. Angmar is weakened. Yet Angmar is not without allies. What is going on, Amarthiel? She looks real evil. Great Lord Sauron, I call upon you for aid. Okay, so yep, she's she's bad. I serve now in Mordoreth's stead. Oh, there's Sauron, okay. I also seek Narquil, for I will need its power if I am to bring your shadow down upon Eriador. What? <laughs> the Lords of Umbar. Now be gone, fool. Once I... Oh, okay. She just killed us. <laughs> Once I have Narkul, all hope for your pathetic people will be lost. Okay. That uh, that just happened. We're going to retreat. Luckily, the quest completed. <laughs> That's all we care about. We get the experience, right? Okay, good. <laughs> so, Amathiel is Sarah Okart. There you go. She's like the champion of Angmar. We've been helping her all this time. That's not good. And Sauron has just agreed to help her, even though she wanted Mordoreth gone. And uh, uh, There's just so much wrong with this situation. I hope Goldie is happy with himself. Maybe he's going to be real sad. Maybe not. I hope not. He's, like, already real sad. Be of service. This is foul news indeed to think that Sarah Okart was all along an agent of Angmar. If she is indeed the same Amarthiel of which only legends speak, then evil days, then evil are the days to come. I must consider what you have learned. Oh, so people already know about Amarthiel. Well, that is not good. Okay, we've still got plenty of time in this episode, so let's continue. I do not know who these servants from the south are, but rumor has reached me that the knights of Mordoreth may be in the south. Perhaps it is they whom she spoke of. It worries me that the knights of Mordoreth could be reclaimed as Amarthiel's own forsworn. We must find out where she is going next, but more importantly, we need to eliminate the threat of Mordoreth's men. It seems that there are three places to return to that may offer clues to the whereabouts of the knights. Gondamon in Ered Lewin, Ostgaruth in the Lone Lands, and Esteldin, the refuge of my people in the North Downs. Speak to Mathy Southhand, Stouthand, er Frederick the Elder, and Deovan, the watch commander of Esteldin. Tell them I sent you and do as they ask. Report back to me when you are done. It says, speak with allies in Coombe or Gondamon, Coombe or Gondamon in, es in Ostgaruth and in Esteldin. Okay, so we need to go back to Gondamon, I think, since we did the quests there I think that's how it works so how are we going to get back there well we're going to go to Esteldin first now, that seems like the easiest place to get to uh, from here since there's a swift travel and so we'll head there first speak to Davin uh, and it looks like yeah we've got to find out where these uh, Knights of Mordoreth may be because they don't sound friendly to be honest with you and I'm not too keen on fighting them hand to hand. That was crazy what just happened in Barad Gularan. Greetings. Uh, I can't believe we just helped her. Anyway, let's head back to Esteldin. Uh, 
Yeah, let's go. Travel now. All right. This is crazy times, guys. Crazy times. Crazy, crazy times. Whew, and looks like we've got to travel a bit around Eridor again. Hopefully we'll be able to get it done this episode. We've got five minutes. We should be able to get to those three places in five minutes. All right, Esteldin is first. We must speak with Davin, who is just over here. We've spoken to Davin many times in the past. Oh, you have to do quests for all these people. Okay, so this might we might want to be able to do this all in one, <laughs> all in one episode. Okay, Goldie has sent you. That is well, for it means his spirit has been renewed. There are grave dangers about, and many have spoken of a new evil from Angmar near the entrance to Ramduath. I'm quite certain this is the knight you seek. Go to the entrance to Ramduath, and you will find him. But be wary; there are many Angmarim in that place. It will not be an easy path. Okay, so we're going to do. We're going to go there first, I guess, all the way out there. We might end up uh, stopping the episode just as we arrive and fighting him next episode. But on the way, uh, let us continue to talk about our quest path uh, because we might be able to even finish this conversation in this ride. So let's do that. So uh, you've hit Moria at level 48. And here is where you want to do every epic quest that you come across. Do them as soon as they're kind of practical uh, as you're going through the quests. Follow all the... All the uh, what are they called? Um vector quests that send you to new zones uh, and just do all the quests in order in moria you shouldn't really get over leveled uh in fact by the time you do you're going to be heading out and when you will head out is either when you finish uh book five chapter five i think it is of volume two uh, and you'll be finished with those skirmishes and have unlocked them and that's the main aim uh, or when you get to level 58 and that's probably when you're about at the flaming deeps but whichever one comes first, uh, level 58 or getting those skirmishes unlocked, or oh, whichever one comes second, sorry, getting to level 58 or getting those skirmishes unlocked, that's when you want to leave Moria. We're having some rubber band issues. Yeah, there you go. We got sent back. <laughs> what is going on here? Lotro, why are you so glitchy? Please let us through. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, so yes, level 58 uh, or after that epic quest, head off from uh, Moria and you're going to head out into Lothlorien. So if you're curious about how that works, uh, you go into Moria if I can find where it is there we go. Into Moria, you're going to go into the Great Delving, Silvertine Loads, up here all around the place, Water Works the Works and then Flaming Deeps probably finish up around there and head out into the Dimbal Dale uh, to the east and then you're going to go straight into Lothlorien Now you've got two jobs in Lothlorien you have to get to level 60 which is very easy. Uh, there are lots of quests in Lothlorien, and I would just do them as they come. Uh, if you're out of quests and you don't know where to go, uh, the quests up here are amazing. There's so many at once. You get heaps of, heaps of experience. But do the ones at the start first. Uh, and your aim is twofold. You need to get to friend standing with the Galathrim, the uh, the reputation faction there. Well, here we are. We're at Ost Krithlank. These guys are all level 29, so <laughs> that's fine. We don't need to worry about them. Ah, but this is the Knight of Mordoreth that we have to fight. And it looks like we've got time to. Okay, let's do it. Uh, we're going to get into our single target mode. But yes, you want to be friend with the Galathrim before you leave uh, Lothlorien. That's so you can get access to Karas Galathon. All right. You Mordoreth know. cannot be stopped. Even if you think you have defeated him, he will never truly be dead. He was the king of the south in mortal life and will be king of the north as a wraith lord. Mordoreth's will lives on, which is more than I can say for you, you pathetic high elf. What is he talking about? He was king of the south in life. These Hillman Chieftain, they're like 20 levels below us. What are they doing? We've been disarmed. We're just going to let them wail on us because they're doing nothing. We're going to take down Siredian. That is his name. How do you say it? I don't know. Because uh, he does not look too tough. He's only a signature level 50. There we go. He's down. And these Hillman Chieftain, just so weak. There we go. All right, well, he's down. Now we can speak to Davin at Estildin. Uh, so let's just ride back there, uh, I guess. Or perhaps we will... Uh, we can map somewhere and then uh, take a swift travel back, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's map to Gathforthnir and swift travel back to Estildin. But yes, as I was saying, in Lothlorien, you need to get to level 60 and hit friend standing with the Galathrim. So do those repeatables outside uh, near Fanwidol. Fenwithol, however you say it, uh, and then head 
do the quests that let you get into Lothorin and then get into uh, Karas Galathon. That's just so you have them unlocked for later on, especially in the epics. You know, you don't have to do any of the epics in Lothlorien, but you are going to pick up Book 9 of Volume 2, which is the Mirkwood epic, and then you're going to head to Mirkwood. How can I be uh, and that, uh, you're going to have to do the forward there, and I would do all the optional quests as well, just to get a bit of experience. And Mirkwood, uh, your whole job is to just do the epics. So you should be level 60 or 61 when you head in there, and you're just doing the epics. You're just doing Book 9, so you can unlock the skirmishes at the end. It is a bit annoying. It does take a while. Uh, but it's worth getting those skirmishes unlocked. And so, uh, once you finish that, you should be about level 62, 63. Uh, and then, you'll be finished with Volume 2. Don't do any of the epilogues of Volume 2. Uh, but, then you start Volume 3. And so that's where we'll pick up our conversation next episode. We're going to speak to Davin and finish off this episode here. You've done well now, Glear. Goladir will be pleased with your success. I can now give my attention to sending more help to the north, now that you have made the way easier. Return to Goladir and let him know of your victory. All right, will do, Davin. Thanks for the experience. And this is where we're going to end the episode, guys. Standing next to Davin. Once more, we seem to like standing next to this guy. But yeah, guys, that's going to be all for today. So thank you so much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy the episode, uh, make sure you leave a like down below. And if you have any comments, suggestions, anything like that, maybe disagree with me on my quest path that we've been discussing, or maybe you have some further questions to do with that. Let me know in the comment section down below. I will get to every single one of them. Maybe I'll even answer them in a video. Uh, you never know. But yeah, guys, that's going to be all. If you're new to the channel, hit a subscribe button. Uh, and make sure you turn that bell on so you get notifications every day of when this uh, series gets updated. Also, uh, there is the Shadow of War series uh, still on this channel. Uh, we're up to like episode 7 or 8 by now. Uh, and it's getting good. We're getting into it. And it's a really fun game, guys. So go check that out if you have not yet. All right, guys, that is all we've got time for today. Uh, it's been a pleasure playing with you. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.